Hi, my name is uh, TJ Stanley, and I am 16 years old, and I have Tourette Syndrome. I'm here to talk about what Tourette Syndrome is. Tourette Syndrome is a neurological disorder char characterized by a uh, repetitive and stereotyped involuntarily movements which occur around your, the whole body and the face. My friends treat me as if I didn't even have it. They, ne they haven't noticed it. I've had it for at least five years now, and I'm getting a lot better. What you need to know is just because someone has a disorder or anything doesn't mean that you should treat them any different from yourself. It just, it, it gets you, you gets you thinking like, how is it possible for me to have it? I just, I feel I shouldn't have it at all. And it, you should think twice of what you say before you see them. Just ask them. Some people can't help to make movements, they just feel like they have to. It's usually the, the, the syndrome in which children and young adults have abnormal movements. Abnormal movements that they can control for a short period of time. But uh, these movements are very short uh, and they can occur in any part of the body. It can be in the face, in the eyes, in the shoulders arms and legs, even in the torso, and they are called tics. And the tics can be either motor or they can be vocal, in which um, somebody will blurt out a high-pitched sound or a low-pitched sound or even sometimes um, um, words. The kind of tics I have are facial tics and not so much verbal, but I'll, I'll move around a lot and kind of make noises in my throat and make facial gestures and move my arms a lot, but it's not, it's not as bad as what other people could have. They could have verbal, they start yelling and kicking around. The most common are our tics in the face and in the shoulders. That's the most common place to have tics. It's in the eyes. You can have tics at blinking. Eye blinking is, is very, very common. Uh, abnormal movements of the eyes to all kinds of directions, um, um, uh, movement of the nose like, like sniffing, movements of the mouth and jaw like, like jaw opening, like, you know, like the movements like that, um, uh, shoulder shrugging, heads moving to the side or the back, um, those are the most common. This area is, is the most common area to have ticks. Well, we don't cure this disease right now. What we're trying to do uh, is give you a better quality of life. So um, we try and decrease the amount of ticks that you have in order for you to be able to more um, uh, be part of everyday life without interfering with your daily activities. I thought it was just like coughing or something. I had, I was like sick or sh like I had a cold, so I went home and I told my mom that I had it, and then I found out that I was diagnosed with Tourette's. Sometimes I shake my head. Um, I make a high pitched sound with my voice in class, <coughs> and I sniffle, and but it it sounds like I have cold, but I really don't. I, if I force myself not to do them, uh, maybe a longer one or a higher. Tourette or tick will come out and like when I don't even know. They're difficult to um, have and they're, they, you get along with them. You don't always have to keep it in. You can always tell people what you have. You don't have to be scared to tell them. I still play sports. I'm still involved to be in the, to have the ability to run track snowboard, skateboard, and even I'm now in a club called DB Club, which I film and t take photography. My mom picked up pills and I started taking them for Tourette's. And then uh, the next day I get into school. I didn't know what, really what to say because I, I didn't want them knowing what I had because I was too afraid they'd 
it wouldn't uh, like me anymore. And then you get in my class where I started like, having my tics. And when I got in the classroom, my friend came over and he wanted to know how I was doing and he, he was the only person that really stood out and helped me. And, and anyway, he really got me through this. He said, don't worry about it. You just gotta get through school. You don't, don't even worry about what other people think. Just live your normal life. And I started thinking, you know what? That is true. I can't worry about what other people think. I just gotta know what I have to do in life is be myself. You gotta understand if if your friend or if you're friends with this person, you see someone struggling that has Tourette's syndrome or they're moving around a lot, you just you try to calm them down a little, you know, it's not it doesn't hurt to ask at all. And feel free. That's the greatest fr friendship to have is just to know that someone cares about you and they they tell you you can do it, you know. You, you can't be afraid to Go out there and do it yourself. No matter what you have, you will always be the same exact person as everybody else. Nothing can change that ever. Like for me, I feel that no matter who I am, people treat me the same thing every day. Even when I didn't have Tourette's Syndrome.